OK, it's a key part of many people's diets these days, the soya bean. We have them here. <laughs> Even if you haven't seen one before, that does look a bit like a bowl of the cereal I might yeah, say. Yeah, it's soya bean. Uh, uh, many of us will have eaten plenty in many of the foods we actually buy these days. Indeed, but now it's set to change the way, not the way we eat, but the way we travel. The them. oil, <laughs> yeah, one of them got away there. The oil from this humble bean is being used to power buses in the heart of our region. Gillian Kelly takes up the story. The wheels on this bus go round on soya oil. The Thames travel vehicle is the first bit of public transport in Oxfordshire to entirely use the environmentally friendly fuel. It won't be the last. Because a five-month trial on this bus has proved so successful, it's likely that the remaining 34 buses in the fleet will be converted too. Each bus will then emit 80% less carbon, the equivalent of less than a small family car. I think it's very pioneering. Uh, in Oxfordshire it is the only vehicle which is running on currently on local services. Um, it is very important that uh, bus operators set this agenda of environmental credentials rather than be seen as polluting vehicles, which in the past buses have been seen as. Um, we wanted to see them as green machines. The engineers who designed this system estimate that it will save Thames travel up to 15% a year on their annual fuel bill, and that works out at about £4,000 per vehicle. So the £3,500 cost of converting the bus to run on soya pays for itself within a year. Thames travel is based in Wallingford and travels all over Oxfordshire, places where the environment desperately needs a helping hand. The high street in both Oxford and Wallingford has such poor air quality they break European laws. I think it's a very good idea eco-friendly and saves all the emissions which uh, we hope will be reduced greatly. If the both bus came at the same time I'd certainly get on the one running on soya fuel um, and I don't it would save uh, the environment um, you know smoke dirt all the rest going into the air. There is only one possible sticking point left ahead for the soya buses. The freezing point of soya is higher than that of diesel, so engineers need to monitor this bus through the winter to make sure it doesn't break down if it stops for too long. But they are reasonably confident that that won't happen and that the buses and the timetable will run smoothly on soya from early next year. Gillian Kelly in Wallingford for Central News.